Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I don't know if you guys have seen this viral trend on TikTok, but it definitely caught my eye. Yes, today I'm going to be showing you how I make mini pancakes or pancake cereal or whatever these things are that look scrumptious and delicious and amazing. Yo, it's really good, bro. Holy sh The first time I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh. I need to make this. Notice in some other videos that people are just using their regular pancake recipes to make this. So I'm going to be using my lemon blueberry pancake recipe minus lemon and the blueberries for this. Other than your pancake recipe, all you need for this is a squeeze bottle or a piping bag. If you don't have those, I've seen people use Ziploc bags as well. Um, so yeah, you just need something to squeeze the pancake mix out of to make your mini pancakes. I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to make these properly and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Like I said before, I'm using pretty much the same recipe that I made for my lemon blueberry pancakes, except I'm not adding the blueberries or the lemon. Oh my God, to go. This is my dog. He's making a lot of noise and not letting me film. I think he's gonna want some pancakes. Okay, anyways. As always, the ingredients are posted in the description down below for you guys. I started out with mixing my dry ingredients together, and when I was done that, I moved on to mixing my wet ingredients together. Once you're done, you're going to want to fold in your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients using a spatula. Using a spatula will help you fold the batter without losing too much air, and it's gonna give you a fluffier pancake. I also let this pancake batter sit for 10 minutes before filling my squeeze bottle. And you'll notice that on my squeeze bottle, the hole is quite big, but because this batter is so thick, you are going to still get really great control when you're piping your pancakes. I've seen some videos of other people struggling with thin pancake batter when they're trying to make these mini pancakes, and I really feel that a thick batter is the way to go. Once your squeeze bottle or piping bag is ready to go, you're going to want to heat a nonstick pan on low heat and add a nub of butter or oil to it. I like using butter because it adds flavor to the pancakes. Next, you're going to pipe your pancakes onto your pan. I found that doing this swirl motion helped me get a nice circular shape. And you want to pipe these quickly so that they all cook at the same speed because they will cook a lot faster than regular sized pancakes. Once you see bubbles forming on the sides, you can flip them. I used a spoon and a heat proof spatula to flip them individually. Once flipped, they're only gonna take about 15 to 20 seconds to cook. Don't cook them any longer than that, otherwise they are going to harden and just not taste that good. These little cuties are best served warm, so when I was done, I immediately plated them in a bowl, topped them off with some maple syrup and a nub of butter. Look at how amazing these turned out. Aren't they just the cutest little pancakes? Let's go ahead and taste them. Mm. Oh my God. These are so good. Why is this big piece of butter here? Cause you gotta put her on pancakes. Uh. Uh. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. I feel like they taste kind of better. Than know. pancakes? Like they are pancakes, but they're just... Well, those are way better than pancakes. They're better than pancakes, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's like the butter ratio. Maybe. I don't know. It's so good. Mm. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.